hello guys today i'll uh, show you how to draw uh, how to divide the circle into three equal parts with the help of a compass a scale a pointed pencil okay that's it these are the only three equipments you will be needing for this so adjust the pencil uh, in your compass uh, make sure you use a pointed pencil so that we get perfect geometry with a pointed pencil so to begin with the first step, take appropriate distance in your compass of uh, as big as you want to be your circle to be. Okay, so for instance, I'm uh, taking a four centimeter distance in in my uh, rounder. So keep the point of the rounder. Fix the point of the rounder. And okay, I'll just uh, reduce the distance a little bit and uh, draw a circle. Okay, okay, now let's uh, mark the center of the circle as O. Okay, first, uh, anyway, first we will uh, divide the circle into two equal parts. For that draw a diameter to the circle the diameter is just a simple line that passes through the center of your circle just take your scale and draw a diameter to the circle okay I'm, um, the geometry is to be drawn with a lighter pencil so I hope you're seeing the line right okay we will just name uh, this diameter as A and B the points where this line is intersecting our circle those points are A and B so with the radius now, now OB is the radius, right? So keep your uh, pointer on. So keep your pointer on B, the distance of the radius. Increase the. With the distance of the radius, you intersect the circle. This distance just draw an arc okay similarly draw an arc below to the right to the left one to the left and one to the right okay now keep the pointer on a that is the second end of the diameter draw two arcs up and down so now we get total six points on our circles a b let's name this c d e and f now to divide the circle into three equal parts we have to join these points with the center O but remember we don't have to join every point we just have to join alternate points for example if I am joining O A then I will skip the point C and I will join D with O so I'm skipping the point C and I'm joining D then I'm skipping the point B because we are joining alternate points. So I'm skipping the point B and I'm joining E. So, so in this way we get three parts to our circle, three equal parts. So uh, you can use this method in your crafts for your geometry or for any other purpose with the with any other uh, for example you have to cut a piece of wood into a circular wood and then you have to divide the wood piece of wood into three parts so you can use this method for that so and um i hope you like this video i hope you understand this video so if you like this video please subscribe to the channel as always and uh, hit the like button and i will see you in my next video then uh, you have a nice day bye bye